First comes Golem, then comes Smeagol, and then there's I've been looking forward to this. No, seriously, I was. I was actually looking forward to this. I think I confirmed it for myself after um, the last session. I believe, despite how fucked up this game is, last session was the most fun that I've ever had. And I believe it was the fir first time in a while that I laughed the hardest. So, even though this game is super fucked up and it's getting shit tons of negative reviews, and uh, I'm pretty sure half the population just didn't finish it, I'm, I'm dedicated now. I want to see where this goes. <sighs> I don't care anymore. I'm being honest when I say that. We will continue the misadventures of Golem and Smeagol and <laughs> as well. Because who the fuck wants to see Smeagol, right? Fuck Smeagol. He's a bitch ass hunky that never got any when he was young. He ain't getting shit now. Golem? You straight out of Compton. Not in a hundred years. <laughs> there it is! Yes! <laughs> Already! Oh wait, hold on, the ugly bitch is here? Where is she? Where the fuck is she? Because I just... I remember that ugly bitch from the fucking cell. Where the fuck is she? Is she in here? I need, I need to see if I can get freaked out again. Also... <sighs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> what up, ugly bitch? <laughs> so you're blind, huh? Good. That means you can look in the fucking mirror and see how fucking ugly you are. Old hag. Can't tell if she's fucking old or not. Either fucking way, that bitch is ugly. New objective, leave. And then in Collins. No. New objective, leave. In parentheses, Smeagol behind. <sighs> What the fuck was that fade just now? Hold on. He climbed up, and then we had a fade here, and then he said butterfly? Wait, no, no, we're not doing that bullshit again. First the fucking bird, then the beetle, now the butterfly? No. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Fuck you guys, man. Shit, see, Golem's the true homie. Smeagol? The fuck, man? Smeagol ain't got shit. Shit, all you motherfuckers over here just calling him Smeagol and shit. Smeagol is a bitch ass honky. New objective, find the way out. Smeagol, you stay here. Your life means nothing to me. Shit. That's odd. <laughs> really? That's what you say when you capture someone? That's odd. Oh, I don't get that. No throttling. No throttling for the elves allowed. Boo. Ooh, okay. What? Oh! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Jump back. Why does that happen? Why does he, like, just fall regularly and then just go whoop? On the fucking shrubs. <laughs> Who's ready for some blood for me? I am. Who I'm always ready. <laughs> oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Look at this uncharted bullshit! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, not that way. Ah! Oh, God! Ah, oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god, if only Nathan Drake could do this. He would be seeing all of this shit. Yo. Can I get a photo mode? 
see that shifting wall of mist in the distance. Uh, I don't think we see. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's supposed to be people up here. So dense you can't see five paces ahead. Um, yeah, nice place you got here, but more fucking importantly, who the fuck is the owner here? Because we don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are! Oh god, it's pre-rendered! That's a- uh, oh god. Elves have caught us. Terrible spirits. Elves have caught him. When exactly did they catch him? They simply- uh, they invited him. They saw him climb through all that uncharted bullshit. And then they just said, we know you're there. We see everything. Climb up. Have some tea and biscuits. You have excellent platforming and climbing skills. And for that, we acknowledge you as one of our own. And don't touch the fish in the lake. We're gonna kill these two. And then after that, Smeagol's gonna drown. So, uh... You gonna share some of that crack or what? You're the prisoner. The one who talks funny. No, he doesn't. Oh yes, you do, you motherfucker. You've been talking weird this whole fucking time. Smeagol. Smeagol. You're fucking dead, bitch. We don't talk funny. You talk funny every fucking day. You have self arguments. And I'm left to believe there's two people in the same body. What the f fuck are these voices? Why are the bells talking? Oh my god, her eyes. Ew. None of your damn business. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that loading? Okay, some of the elves are cool, some of the elves are not cool. Because now... Nice. <laughs> <sighs> Trying to fucking jump for one area and then just falling fa Oh god! Not this time, my friend. She's not your friend. I was gonna say, uh, trying to jump from one area to the next and then just falling flat is... just fucking hilarious. <gasps> oh lord. Uh oh. Ooh! No! It's not Smiggle, you son of a bitch. Ah! Ah! This way. Ah, nobody's coming though. <laughs> this one is on high alert though. The elf wants us to ring the bells. Ring the bells. <laughs> Don't whisper in my ear. We want her out of our head. It's hurting us. Stop, stop, stop whining. Stop being so weak. <laughs> Through the haze. Nice for a while. <sighs> basically saying, Yes, Mingo, stop being a bitch. Because <laughs> that's what the fuck you are. <sighs> oh, stop being a bitch, you fucking pussy. You know what's going to be really fucked up? What if he jumps down in the fucking water there and he survives this? <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah, you did! <laughs> uh the ugly elf blind elf likes it. What's a friendly door, my precious? <laughs> a friendly door doesn't hurt unwelcome guests. An unfriendly one. Not that welcoming. Mm. A door can hurt us. There should be a candle next to the door. I take it that you never played Final Fantasy IV. But all the chat fucking doors that can kill you instantly. Oh, that is so stupid. You blow the candle to light it. Does not move, but is not dead. Sleeps in cozy water bed. 
Got a helmet yet no head, shiny tiny stone instead. A nice shell, an odd one. Perhaps Mel knows more. Is this a fucking play? Because why the fuck is he rhyming all day? Oh god! Oh! <laughs> okay, this time. Jump! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh hey! Oh hey! Yeah! Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, he's got a. He says as he was climbing trees a moment ago. I hate the trees. They're so nasty. Tell that to the fucking tree man. <gasps> oh, you know that, you <laughs> that was an accident. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mel. He's broken plenty of legs. And there's plenty more to break. I did thank you, boy. This fucking ASMR is so bad. Oh, man. I don't know how to feel about this whispering anymore. Also, his hand is glowing a little bit every time he tra traverses this. Oh no, no, that's just... What the fuck is this weird-ass lighting? He doesn't have to move his hands to play this fucking thing. He's very talented. Play the Final Fantasy thing while you're at it. What? So then you would not mind if I had that Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. He sees him. And I need. Um if you stop being vain. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh how you do? <laughs> you see him? He's right here. You gotta catch him. You gotta grab him. I can see. <laughs> you gotta catch him. <laughs> I mean, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch him? He's right there! He's not going anywhere! <laughs> you gotta catch him? You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta grab, you gotta get, I see his hand just reaching out. Why is he just. Why is he just dead in there? Keep it safe. Okay, hold on. Ah! Not this time, my friend. Okay, now he moves. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Go the door, the door. Go the door, asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're such a bastard. Are you gonna turn around? Nope. Fuck you. You are such an asshole. What the hell? Okay. Oh, I see. I mean, that's where the fucking <laughs> guy said to go. 
There you go. Oh, you're just gonna ignore that. Okay, well, well then, how about a rot to the fucking face, dick? Fuck you. Well, let's bring you back. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, but the thing says to go here. Hold on, hold on. So which way is it? D -d Does he climb over here? Or Does he jump down on the opposite side? Which is it? Because. <laughs> oh, this game is bullshit. <gasps> Fuck you! Oh, is this again? I wish you could. Oh. Don't try that again. We're trying that again. Fuck you! Ah! Don't try that again. And guess what, motherfucker? We're trying that again. What? Oh, come on! Don't try that again. Fuck you, man! What? The oh, I see. What? Don't try that again. The fucking checkpoint spawn him near him. Hold on. <laughs> oh, drop. <laughs> Smeagol, I know you're here, boy. You ain't getting doggy trees. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> the fucking checkpoint fucked him over. The king, he knows. He, he knows. Stop, stop. <laughs> okay, I like this landscape here. Can I see this real quick? Look at this. I mean, that city down there looks kind of weird, but this right here. Wow. I'm just gonna assume that these people were fan of fan of like Uncharted because how the hell can they not think of Uncharted when they were making this? Wait, hold on, can he jump up? Hey, hey, no, 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 right now. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> faces, there are faces, faces. There is a Okay, I'm sorry. That was fucking weird. I wish that problem would show up again. <laughs> uh, can I see? Oh, God. This needs Uncharted music so bad. What is any of this? Okay, the breathing in my ear needs to stop because that's so... Fucking creepy. I don't like this ASMR shit anymore. <laughs> oh my holy god. No. They're at the gate. More elves down there. Fuck. <laughs> you keep making that fucking gargle sound. And you're gonna get busted, you Fucking asshole! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Hold on! Ah! Oh, he's got a blow jar! Ah! Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> He might need to make a jump for it, unless he can distract. Oh, he can. All right then. Yep. Trying to jump him now, bitch. Oh, okay. That's your fucking plan. Okay, yeah. Shoot through the wood. Let's see how that works for you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, there's a thing there. Oh, God, and I see the fucking path, too. Yeah, that motherfucker. Alright. Ah. You want to try that shit again? Oh, climb up, motherfucker. Ah! No, climb up! Fuck! 
Uh, he's crawling on the pick of wood. There's nothing you can do about it. Fuck. <laughs> he was right here. Tried to open my door. Uh, oh. Oh. Squirrel called himself my precious. Oh. Where'd he go? Let me think. Did I see him? Oh, alas, I am blind. <laughs> Smeagol, my friend. Man. Why is Smeagol not Golem? Man, fuck Smeagol. This one, Tommy. Ah, and it stinks. <gasps> fuck. <laughs> My god. My favorite part wasn't the fact that he just fell out that fucking tree. My favorite part is when he just zipped to the fucking right. Like zoop. <laughs> what is this? What on earth? Um, I think he's hallucinating. Or he's going through some shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was weird. What the fuck are these? Okay, like when I first saw this, I thought to myself, oh god, no, we're gonna solve a bell puzzle, aren't we? Oh, thank god he does not have to do any of that shit. Oh, okay. Okay, what the fuck happened here? Scorch marks everywhere. And oh, this tree is wildly fucked up. There's a floating branch. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this tree is all kinds of fucked up, actually. Ugh. Oh my god, that was so fucking bad. Also, Golem creeping up on Mel like that is super weird. It looks like he's about to kill her. You know what? Just for my amusement. It doesn't let me have it. Seriously, all of this shit might as well be ripped right out of Drake's fortune. And just be used. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Uh, those birds are having one fuck fest over there. I can't even tell what the fuck is going on. They just jumbled out. Look like they're about to do the thing that that one hentai. Where they fuck while skydiving. It's Mel. Mel with dark eyes. Okay. Can she look like this? Oh, man. Oh, she's gorgeous. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> Just pimp slap the shit out of that fucking thing. I would like to recap everything that happened up until this fucking point. Broke out of prison after being chased by a fucking spider. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he, I guess, gets captured. And then is in this fucking tree palace with all these goddamn elves where he befriends everybody except for the royal ones, talks to this weird blind elf chick, and I guess betrays him so that way they escape together to this weird spirit forest. Then he solves quite possibly the most atrocious puzzle that I've ever fucking seen in my whole goddamn life. Then he walks through a fucking acid trip, and then Mel's gone. Then he gets captured again, wakes the fuck up, and then he is doing chores for the elves again, and he is doing a fucking riddle puzzle. Come here, come here, Data Lake. Come here, right here, right now. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Nothing has made fucking sense ever since that fucking puzzle. And then here we are Gibberish. doing a Camera. fucking guessing game. Why do we have to convince them to climb the fucking tree when the goal is to fuck around with whatever the fuck the previous one was because I forgot what it was because I can't fucking read it again. Just 
Shut the fuck up. I am going to fucking kill you. I will kill everyone by the end of this. Every last one of you. I don't care. I, I don't fucking care about this tree, this race. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna fucking kill your goddamn kids. How about you get the fuck out of the way right now before I just get that fucking knife on the fucking puzzle and then stab your goddamn tonsils out? Get the fuck out of here. That puzzle meant nothing. It didn't mean shit. You are so fucking lucky that he has no rocks right now. Did he just survive that fall? So we're at that fucking point then. We're at that fucking point where he doesn't even... So we're at that point then, huh? Where to the point maybe he grabbed on the disc? I don't fucking know, but I would just love to see him splutter along with the fucking ground again. Because I want it so bad. I want it so bad right now that you have no fucking idea how that's gonna make me feel good inside. Seeing Golem or Smeagol or just fucking fall head first into a goddamn tree trunk. Not like that because I need to see the fucking body. Just fucking end everything already. End this fucking game. End this fucking Elsa's life. End Smeagol's life because he's a bitch. Why the fuck are we solving riddles? What for? Oh my god, this fucking hole! Why is he climbing a tree? Everything has been a mystery up until that point. Why does he why did he have to solve that fucking puzzle? I don't fucking know. I just got a checkpoint, so let's see what the fuck happens when he jumps off of said tree. Bye bitch. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, oh god, okay. Okay, so I guess we land on the stick. Yes! <laughs> the hissing. <sighs> No, fuck me, damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, this looks pretty nice. The clouds look kind of weird, but eh, overall, it looks good. Hey, those are the fireflies that gives people high. <laughs> oh no, 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 let's see what happens. Oh, did the battery die? Oh, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh no, I think the battery died. Wait, hold on a second. Let me plug that shit in. Oh my god, people are dying. I <laughs> oh man, I'm missing out. I'm missing out on this beautiful massacre. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hold on. Let me plug this shit in. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, I don't have the line on, so I can't see shit, but I'm trying to blood this shit the fuck in. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Let me. Uh... <laughs> fuck. Uh, come on. Get in the. Shit. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me pull this shit in real quick. Oh. I hope this whole forest just burns now after this. <laughs> oh man. I want nothing more. Oh. Oh man. So wait, hold on. Drop down, and then what? Because I need to see how the fuck he's gonna make me through all of that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! All right, yeah, that's one. That's one of them. Hell yeah, my brother. Hell yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> you took that arrow like a fucking bitch. <laughs> what the fuck you want? 
Gollum will go to a feast now. Elves are not invited. Please. Please let that face not be the last thing. <laughs> go fuck you. yourself, man. I'm so fucking done with you. <laughs> Y'all are nothing more than bitch ass hunkies that just want to play stupid fucking guessing games. Shut your asses up. Oh! <laughs> I thought you could swim away. <laughs> Yep, the fucking puzzle bugged out. Fuck off. What the fuck is all this? What is this platforming bullshit? Oh my god. You know, I think I was right. Also, those two platforms just clipped in each other. This is a shitty Naughty Dog game. Like, all the way fucking through. A shitty Jack and Daxter, a shitty Uncharted, and a shitty Last of Us. What the fuck was going on with the studio and we were coming up ideas for this? I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. So far we're just going from one place to the next and then all of a fucking sudden the orcs kind of came in. Try to take all them back, that shit didn't work. Now we're just here because they want some door open and I don't know how the fuck to get back right now. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, what is this? Is he actually strangling an orc with a helmet? What the fuck is this? Well, now. Oh, okay. So that whole fucking time where the game said you can't kill an orc with a helmet. Oh, yes, you fucking can. Well, then. Ain't that some bullshit? What are you waiting for? Do you want to do this platforming bullshit? How about you stand the fuck up and you do this fucking job? How about that? Maybe we should have been with some fucking staircases instead of this stupid ass Jack and Daxter dog shit. Do the fucking job, asswipe. No? Well, then sit there and die. Bitch. Watch this platform and bullshit that you made him do. All because your incompetence almost got him killed. All because you can't build a fucking staircase. Kick my ass. Oh my god! Why is he blowing? <laughs> you were just floating. I saw that. Also, what the fuck is wrong with your hair? Why is it standing up like that? <laughs> I have no bolts left. Oh, shut the fuck up. It wasn't your fault. I was Let us You are such a liar, you fucking asshole. <laughs> shut the fuck up. What the fuck kind of a name is Candle Man? I don't see no candles on your ass. Sound like a robot master name. Just throttle his ass and get this shit over with. Ah, oh, fuck you, bird! God damn it! Oh, what is this? What the fuck is this? Wait, no. Why didn't he just? Oh! Okay, fucking jump on! Oh my god, why is he taking this time? Jump on him! Why was there a car? What was the point of going to black then? Like seriously, why did he take his time with the- Yes! Strangle him! Now dump his body in that weird purple shit! Oh my god, they're making out right in front of Golem. Those two are so gonna bone, look at this. We are gonna point tonight. <gasps> oh no! Don't you dare! Dude, are you just mad because they just fucked right in front of you? Is that what this is? 
Why is there like a little blur on the fucking? What is that on the screen? Why is there a blur? Is that supposed to be the grass? Okay, why was the grass transparent then? Oh, that's fucking weird. I oh my god, I thought he was gonna take that fucking rock and just crush that dude's skull with it. I was gonna say, don't be jealous just because you didn't get some from Mel. I mean, don't get me wrong, I thought Mel was ugly as hell, but after, you know, a few minutes, I was like, eh, you know, she's alright, you know, quite the look here and there, but don't crush the- Oh my god, everything is rending in. Don't fuck- don't crush that dude's head with the rod just because you got jealous because you didn't- you didn't get some. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, dear god almighty, I have no clue what the fuck is happening anymore. I'm just making this shit up as I go. I think I think that's the most fun of it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Are you for real? Hey. In the end. In the end. Yo, did somebody say Thanksgiving come early? Oh! <laughs> oh, weeks later. What could possibly have happened after killing that fucking bird? Minds of Moria, doors of what the fuck is any of this shit? He fucking left the two orcs because he, uh, not orcs, the elves because he saw them fucking in the woods. He leaves and then kills the bird, even though you had a fucking choice to stay with those two, like foster parents. I still don't know what the precious is! Smeagol is a bitch, we already established that. Nothing... I still don't understand what the fuck is happening. What is the precious? Why didn't he stay with those two? Why did it look like that he was gonna kill that one dude with the fucking rock? All of these and more on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. As soon as he finds way to get this fucking door open, I seriously don't understand his struggle here. Is he because he's lonely? I mean, you had a choice. You chose to walk this path alone. And then you make this pseudonym of yourself called Smeagol. Just so you can keep yourself company. Is that what the fuck that is? Is that his whole scenario? Is that he was... Lol... Oh my... I heard a little bit of the... <laughs> like a little I don't know what the fuck that is please tell me this is where the game ends like yeah fuck this game <laughs> no round of applause for you fuck this game fuck off with this fucking game again I know that is my fault for saying all that shit because I never seen any of the movies, never saw any of the books, never seen The Hobbit. I just, it, it never crossed me. Like ever. Like ever. And <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> it never crossed me to see any of these. Oh my god, everything about that was so anticlimactic. Killing the Candleman, seeing these two fuck. Um, him picking up the rock, thinking that he's gonna murder the dude. Walking away when you had a choice. Killing the bird. Okay, no, that, that was my choice. I wanted him to murder that fucking bird. 
Like I said, first came the fat bastard, then came the bird. Because again, the bird wasn't a spy. How do we prove that? Shit! We killed the bird. Killed the bird, we did. Can't call that on on a fu Can't call the bird on this fucking bullshit for being a spy, huh? Even though it wasn't spying at all. Prick. Then he walks away, then he tries to open a door that's sealed. What the fuck is the golem's plotline? What is his problem? What is his ordeal? Tolkien, you deserve better. Never read your books, but I can tell you put your heart and soul into this. And for that, I thank you. Based on an idea. This whole fucking game was an idea. Was there any storyboarding in this? No, there wasn't any quality assurance. You can go fuck yourself at that shit. There was no QA in this. There was none. Fuck off, man. Can I... Uh, these credits mean absolutely nothing to me. Hold on. Before I even... Hold on a second. We're, oh, I'm not done yet. Just because I ended this shit, that means that it's over? No. Fuck you. Hold on. <laughs> where the fuck is that? Hold on, where is that? Dear players, we would like to sincerely apologize for the underwhelming experience many of you have had with the Lord of Ring Golem. Never played that game before. Upon its release, we acknowledge and deeply regret that the game did not meet the expectations we set for ourselves and or for our dedicated community. Please accept our sincere apologies for any disappointment this may have caused. You see the bullshit that I'm talking about here where they're trying to like put a... Like, they, they they released the game, have the nerve to put all that QA shit in the credits. Like, any company that does that, it's like, they try to patch it up. No, we know the full fucking story. I mean, kind of, sort of. And then, after that, we see how fucked up the game is. And then they got the nerve to send out this shit. <laughs> but hold on, it gets even better. Our goal as a studio, and as passionate the Lord of the Rings fans, has always been to tell a compelling and immersive story-driven adventure. What part of this fucking game was story-driven? One thing. Okay. He runs away from orcs, he gets captured, he does some slave work, he gets schematics of a tower that I thought he was going to escape from, and eventually he does. Has to herd some fucking boars around, teams up with a fat ass, just so he's gonna escape to get his ass killed by a giant fucking spider. Then he shows up in Elf Town, and then gets harassed by some elf guards, meets up with these two fucked up siblings, both of them are dead by the way, one of them got shot by an arrow, fuck those two, I don't care. Then meet up with Mel, who might as well just be the best character in this whole fucking game anyway. I don't give a shit about the Feral Man. Um, and then has to rescue or stop some source from polluting the entire world. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck the story is in this fucking game. Like, why would I even bother looking up a wiki article about it? Like, seriously, I'd rather spend my entire fucking time just trying to piece together all the fucking plot elements from the Metal Gear series. Or fucking, like, anything that has a compl- Like, Kingdom Hearts has a more compelling story than this shit. Crafting a story with Middle Earth as our playground has been the greatest honor and the biggest challenge we have faced so far. You have dishonored Middle Earth. Not even Shadow of War, not even Shadow of Mordor. You know, that's my favorite character in it, Bruce. None of that shit was here. There was no crafted story that wasn't immersive and compelling. What? fucking greatest honor. I don't even know how the hell they have got their hands on this shit. Oh my god. And the biggest challenge? Man, I've seen better. I've seen better. And some of them from uh, uh, indie uh, devs. <laughs> At Datalik, we understand that the game's success relies on the enjoyment and satisfaction of its players. Oh, there was some enjoyment and there was some satisfaction fucking up all those jumps, falling to, going, going falling to his death multiple fucking times. All that shit was satisfying. All of that. We generally value your feedback and have been actively listening to your voices, reading your comments, and analyzing the constructive criticism and suggestions you have provided. I wonder if these developers, like any developer, have ever seen these um, videos that people make. Whether they be reviews or they be diatribes or discussions. I wonder if they ever have the time to just sit down and look at that because that's true criticism right there. Like, imagine a Lucasfilm just sees all of the videos from Star Wars Theory, from Nerdrone, from Geeks and Gamers, 
and then they just don't take that criticism and they just call you racist or whatever dumb bullshit they want to give you. We are committed to the providing you with the patches that will allow you to enjoy the game to its fullest potential. Once again, we deeply apologize for any inconveniences uh, caused, and we appreciate your understanding during this time. We will continue to keep you keep you updated on our progress and provide transparent communication regarding the upcoming patches and improvements. Your passion and dedication as players have been the driving force behind our determination to make things right. Thank you for your support. Sincerely, Datalik Entertainment. Datalik my balls and ass. So, at that point, you think that they would take feedback to heart and actually do the service uh, justice, right? Sorry to burst a bowl, everybody. But whatever bullshit patches or whatever bullshit sequel they wanted to make, that shit ain't gonna happen anytime soon. In fact, never, never. That shit ain't never gonna happen. Data Lake Entertainment shuts down internal game development to focus on publishing. The Lord of the Rings Golem developer Data Lake Entertainment will end internal game development and focus solely on publishing going forward, the company said today. In a statement, the company described the move as both a difficult turning point and new beginning in the long history of Data Lake Entertainment. If you don't know what Data Lake is, it's a German game studio. Which I, I don't even know what kind of games they put out because I never heard about this studio until this game came out. The move will affect 25 of Daily Entertainment's more than 90 employees. In a statement to Games um, Workshop, a company representative said, We value each and every member of our team. It is important to us that the transition goes on as, as smoothly as possible. Therefore, we will support our former employees in finding new opportunities within our network. Uh, work on another Lord of the Rings game, which has been in development since 2022, will be halted as part of the restructuring, or just canceled altogether. The upcoming Deponia game, whatever that is, Surviving Deponia, again, whatever that is, is currently in development by external company Atomic Torch Studio, never heard of them, and is therefore unaffected. Day Lake Entertainment is a subsidiary of Nakon, wherever they are, which acquired it in 2022 and published The Lord of the Rings Golem. The game launched to largely disappointing reviews on May 25th. Yeah, the game is still up here. Mixed recent views, all reviews, mostly negative. <laughs> and then they got the nerve to drop all of this shit. You get DLCs in this. Like, are you seeing this shit? Like, as terrible as this fucking game is, and then they got the nerve to drop this. Like, go fuck yourself. Anyway, let's get into this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> no way I'm reading this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm just gonna read this part, and that's it. What once had promised now shows none. Unlike most, I actually did look forward to Golem. Personally, most video games have looked samey since the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era. Sure, there are expectations to that, but I can't say I've ever felt compelled to play Alan Wake, Uncharted, or yet another churned out Call of Duty game. Golem felt different, like it would bring something new to the table. It at least had the capacity it had not been for the gross incompetence of Diddling Entertainment, Nakon, and Epic Games. I don't even know if this is on the Epic Games Store. Go got this far for free and I want a refund. There's not much to be said that hasn't been said already by, uh, uh, that hasn't already been covered. The game is terrible and there are no deceivable reason that you should buy it. If you want a good stealth game, go play Thief. If you want a nice 3D platformer, play a Mario game. If you want a Lord of the Rings game, play any other title. I think this one on PS2 that's pretty good. Product refunded. Horrible is the only word to describe this game. This game had so much potential to be an amazing, amazing game. Very buggy and the graphics were horrible. Don't waste your money. Shadow of Mordor is much, much better alternative. Oh yeah, I've seen that. That's some good shit. I really, really, hold on it. Trying to give this game a chance. 
The gameplay is wonky, his jumps are ridiculous, so many accident deaths that could have been prevented by polish. The game runs a little better, maybe, after this recent patch. But I just ran into a glitch that video game donkey uh, ran into where my checkpoint is fucked. I am truly disappointed in this, I'm going to try to beat it, but it's going to take time. And how far does this go? Okay, the one thing I liked is when I tried to kill myself in the lava and got an achievement that said not yet. Oh yeah, yeah, Tour of Grace got that one too. Even on sale, I do not recommend this game. Absolutely would not buy this for any amount of money. How deep you have fallen, Data Lake. The performance sucks, the game is boring, it feels like a bunch of busy work. Just know, please throw this game into the mountain of fire where it belongs, as well as the new Lord of the Rings Amazon series. Yeah, 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 the, um, the, the Rings of Power, where everyone gets to witness the glory and atrocity that is Galadriel. And that's Galadriel with a capital G! Oh, we got some positives! As a Lord of the Rings fan and, and a keen gamer, I really enjoyed Golem, despite not being a fan of stealth games. The game's greatest strength is its story, which sits very nicely alongside The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings in contrast to other Middle Earth games, whose storylines have always felt like they've stretched the lore a bit too much. Having a closer look inside Mordor, especially in relative peacetime, was a real treat that I had not expected to enjoy so much. I played the entire game on Steam Deck, which was acceptable at 30 frames per second, but only just. The cutscenes were quite choppy, but were still very enjoyable, and I encountered only one bug, which lost me about 5 minutes of progress. For me, the game's biggest issue is that the ideal audience is someone who is a, a big time Lord of the Rings fan, fan Lord of the Rings, and B interested in playing stealth games in which it's quite a narrow target. It is also not very polished, the elf models in particular look poor, and so combining these issues it is easy to understand why the game has received a lot of criticism. Other reviews have also criticized the boring bland undertaking gameplay, but that was not my experience. Finally, the price, currently at 43 euros, feels quite high for a relatively short game. It took me 17 hours to finish, and so I would recommend buying it when it's on sale. How much is this shit, by the way? Oh my... What the fuck? <laughs> and then that's not even talking about the Precious Edition. Whether you're a longtime fan of the world created by J.R.R. Tolkien or whether you are exploring the Lord of the Rings for the first time, the Precious Edition offers an even more immersive game experience. This edition includes the game, sadly, the Sindarin VO DLC which adds a touch of authenticity to dialogue with the elves, the Lore Compendium DLC, a treasure trove of information about the game's key characters, location, and events, taking you deep into the history of Middle-earth. The original soundtrack application so you can listen to the game's soundtrack whenever you want. The fucking music is easily forgettable. The art exhibition application that takes you behind the scenes of the game creation process with lots of sketches and development secrets. The Lord of the Rings Golem is an official adaptation based on the little works of J.R.R. Tolkien. You mean to tell me that this shit is canon? <sighs> oh my god, dude. Easily a 12 out of 10 experience, if you ask me. Congratulations, Knockon. Congratulations, Data Lick. Data Lick my ass. No. What the oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.